Hello everyone, you are watching Blackboard. So we have learned the basic knowledge of diabetes mellitus in our previous video and the link is down in the description. Then what's new today? In today's episode, we're going to talk about types of diabetes mellitus, causes, risk factors, symptoms, and complications of diabetes mellitus. Let's discuss the types of diabetes mellitus. Type 1 diabetes is when your pancreas cannot make insulin. And as you know, insulin helps blood sugar enters the cells in your body and use as energy. So without insulin, blood sugar cannot get into the body cells and build up in the bloodstream. This high blood sugar leads to a number of symptoms and complications. Do you know that type 1 diabetes was once called insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus or juvenile diabetes? It usually develops in children, teenagers, and young adults, but it can happen at any age too. Type 1 diabetes is less common than type 2 diabetes. Following are the causes of type 1 diabetes. Number 1. Autoimmune diseases against insulin-producing beta cells of pancreas. Number 2. Genetics play an important role in the predisposition of diabetes. For example, gene HLA-DR3 and HLA-DR4 are associated with the risk of diabetes mellitus. Various environmental factors like viral infections also triggers the disease. Keep it in mind that diet and lifestyle habits don't cause type 1 diabetes mellitus. Type 2 diabetes is when your pancreas produces defective insulin and body cells don't respond to this defective insulin called insulin resistance. Type 2 diabetes often develops over the age of 45. Following can be the cause of type 2 diabetes. Number 1 Overweight means obesity. Number two, physical inactiveness. Number three, your diet and lifestyle habits. Number four, family history. Let's see how can you get to know if you are diabetic or not. Urinate a lot or often at night. Feels very thirsty. Lose weight without trying. Feels very hungry. Have blurred vision. Numbness of hand and feet. Feels tired. Dry skin. Have more infections than the usual. If you have any of the following diabetic symptoms, see your doctor about getting your blood sugar tested as soon as possible. Now let's have a look that who are at risk of diabetes mellitus. You are at risk of type 1 diabetes if you have a family history, like having a brother, a sister, or a parent with type 1 diabetes. Following are the risk factors of type 2 diabetes. Overweight, age above 45 years or older, family history, Pre-diabetics have ever had gestational diabetes or give birth to a baby weighted 9 pounds or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Do you know what is pre-diabetes? Pre-diabetes is a serious health condition where blood sugar levels are higher than normal but not high enough yet to be diagnosed as type 2 diabetes. Approximately 96 million adults have pre-diabetes and shockingly 80% of them don't know they have it. 
The risk factors of pre-diabetes are same as that of type 2 diabetes. But the difference is that blood sugar levels are not so high, not that normal. Now, let's discuss the last point from today's episode. Complications of Diabetes Mellitus When diabetes goes undetected or inadequately treated, can lead to a number of life-threatening complications. Diabetic complications are divided into two major types. Number one, microvascular complications. Number two, macrovascular complications. Macrovascular complications include myocardial infarction, stroke, peripheral vascular disease, and diabetic foot. There is an increase in 5-year mortality in patients diagnosed with macrovascular complications. Microvascular complications include retinopathy, nephropathy, and neuropathy, and out of which there is an excess burden in persons newly diagnosed with diabetes mellitus. Importantly, newly diagnosed diabetes is associated with substantial premature death, not only from vascular disease, but also other non-vascular causes of mortality. Now, it's question time! Does sugar in your diet causes diabetes? The fact is actually that Diabetes is not caused by eating the normal amount of sugar in your food. But keep in mind, a diet full of soda, sugary foods, and processed foods does increase your risk for obesity, which can lead to type 2 diabetes. If you want to learn more about how to get tested or diagnosed, For diabetes mellitus, then press the bell icon and subscribe my channel to stay tuned. Till then, goodbye!